our focus would be on wages. So we will need to answer the question, what is a wage? And after answering that question, we will need to move on to looking at the two types of wage. Okay, so a wage is simply a payment based on hours, days, or weeks amount of work performed. Now, these wages can actually be categorized into two. The first one is actually payment by piece of work. So you simply consider the amount of work that a person has actually performed, then you give him a wage. So it could be that you have a farm, or let's actually put it at a local scale. You have a garden and you need about 10 ridges in that garden. So you hook up some worker whom you're going to tell to so well, if you happen to make 10 ridges, <laughs> then we're going to give you this much. So if you make one ridge, we'll give you five quads. You make the, the other ridge, we'll top up a five quads. So if you make five, five ridges, you're going to multiply five quarters by five regions. So now when you pay a person according to the amount of work that he has performed or that he has done, then you are paying that person by a form that we call payment by what? By piece of work. That's the first word. Then there's also payment by how. There you don't consider how much work one has done. You simply consider the time spent on doing the work. So if we say per hour, we will be giving you 10 kwacha. Another hour, 10 kwacha. So if you go for three hours, you will have 30 kwacha. So if let's say you are, you are going to make two ridges within five hours, we will still multiply the number of hours that it has taken you to make whatever ridges you have made. If you make one ridge and you take five hours, we will simply consider the time, the time it has taken you to make that one ridge. So if you want, you can actually stay a whole day working on one ridge, and then we multiply the number of hours. So through the day, we may have 24 hours. You multiply 24 hours by 10 questions. So you see now how different the two are. The first one where you have to pay a person by piece of work, you consider the amount of work done and time is not a factor there. If a person stays in the garden the whole day but only walks away with one reach, you're simply going to pay that person by one reach. And then the other wage where some person has to be paid according to the amount of, to the time frame within which he has done the work, you consider time instead of considering, considering the time, instead of considering the amount of work that he is going to perform. So let's look at these one by one. We see uh, how we can work out the problems that I have to do with uh, these types of words. So we have the first example, which is payment by payment by piece of work. Didn't I make a didn't I make a mistake here? How is it? Calculate the amount paid as wages to a garden boy who's paid twenty quarter for making a single bed. So this one, I actually made a mistake. This one has to read as payment by what? By the amount of work done, not the payment by the, by how. So now they're saying calculate the amount 
paid as wages to a garden boy who's paid 20 kwacha for making a single bed in the garden. So now here, we need to come up with data for us to make work easier. So you're gonna say one bed is equal to 20K, 20 kwacha. And then now we can see that we can break this one down, we check out how many beds did he make on day one and how many beds did he make in on on day two so day one day one he made 20 beds and then day two he made 15 beds so what we can do is we simply find the total number of beds he had made because one bed is equal to 20 kwacha. 20 kwacha. So what we'll do is we add this, is that 20 plus, 20 plus, where's the cursor? 20 plus 15, that's uh, 35, right? So he had made 35 35 beds within two days. So now the question is, how much was he given as his wage? So here this side, we're going to say, we don't know how much he walked away with after making that five beds. But we know that one bed is equal to 20K. So it's just a matter of cross multiplying here. Yeah? So 20 times 35, 20 times 35, which is equal to one times X, that's uh, X. So now the answer is what? 20 times 35, what do you get? 20 times 35. That's 700. So you can say, X is equal to 700 quads. So we can conclude to say, okay, fine. Since X is equal to 700 quads, and we'll say, therefore, the wage, the wage, of the garden boy, of the garden boy, is equal to seven hundred, and we're done. I can actually give you an opportunity to give it a shot. We we'll see if you're able to work out the second uh, problem. Uh, if you are done, you can see, you know, by actually tapping on that icon where you will be made to see, you know, with the hand. Should I erase everything? Feedback, 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 feedback. Unmute yourself. There, yeah. we move on? Yes. Okay, lovely. So now we have to erase this. We move on to the second one. Is this example two? Okay, so I want you to give it a shot. we we'll see if you're able to work out example two. This one is similar to what we just from Calvary. 
Hello. Oh my God.